All right, students. So let us see another super trick in the super trick series of indefinite integration. Now, in this series, we are going to talk about solving um, a pretty simpler formula that is linear by linear. It is almost that you will be able to solve it. This will, but if you know the trick, this will help you save those 15 seconds of yours, which are very crucial in the exam. So if this is linear by linear, so if I just have to write the formula, let's say if I say ax plus b divided by cx plus d, this is what you are integrating. Just remember the answer as simple as that. What is the answer? Divide the coefficients of x that is a and c that is a by c put x in front of it right and then with a minus sign what you will have to do is 1 by c square that is the coefficient of x in the denominator expression then put a determinant sign for determinant just put the coefficients as it is a b c and d as it is and the thing left is nothing but ln mod denominator the term which is in the denominator which is nothing but this expression if you want to see the expression this is the expression that you have here this this is the thing if you remember this formula now obviously the plus c component please don't miss that otherwise this will be a problem this could be really helpful for any examination be it cbse be it nda be it your iitj whatever it is bedside whatever but but saving time in a, any competitive examination is very very crucial this is where we'll help it let's see some examples in practice so let's say we can pick any one right let's say first of all let's pick up a very simple problem to understand how we are going to let's say even apply this uh, fundamental here let's say something of this sort is happening so the answer is pretty simple a by c that is 3 by 5 x nothing minus c square c is 5 here this is 1 by 25 then you have determinant a by d the so value of d what you are going to take this is d is minus 3 don't do that error that is minus 9 minus 25 so this will become what minus 34 right this will become minus 34 ln just put mod 5x minus 3 and you are done this is the answer as simple as that let's see another problem so let's say another problem is something of the side 1 minus x upon 3x plus 1 so now before applying the formula here keep that in mind that you have to arrange them in this particular order what is the order we are talking about that ax and cx should be written first that is the order we are talking about so we can write this as something like this or you can take minus common also that is not a problem which will ease out the question 3x plus 1 now better so if you say the answer is minus this minus is coming here the whole total common and what would be the answer a by c a by c is 1 by 3x minus 1 by c square that is 9 determinant determinant would be formed with, with the value of a is 1 here b is minus 1 c is 3 and the value of d is 1 so this is how i can explain it to you in the easiest way so Determinant is AD minus BC, AD minus BC, if you do, it is coming out to be 4 into LN, what you will do, modulus 3x plus 1, that's it, plus C, or you can take the C outside, that is not even a problem, generally we do not write C here, so what we can do is you can take this C outside. See how easy the problem has become and how quickly now you can solve questions which are based on linear by linear form. Okay, now also let us see under the beautiful formula for again, not linear by linear, but I would rather call this as exponential by exponential form, right? Exponential by exponential actually works more towards the linear by linear, but it is a bit different from uh, linear by linear because substitution will lead to a squarish. Don't worry what I just said, forget about it. Let's just see the formula again. Let's see the formula. So for linear by linear, we did A by C X. For this, what we'll do, we will be building b by d, that is the ratio of the constants times x. Got it? Plus, here we will not use the determinant. There we use determinant with a negative sign outside, remember? Now you will just simply say a by c minus b by d. Simply put, ln modulus denominator function plus c. This is the answers. Voila, question over. Right. So in these category of questions, why we have taken them both simultaneously is that 
you have to arrange the denominator in terms of the oh sorry the numerator in terms of the denominator so that one of the terms cancel and one of the terms becomes logarithmic so believe me these shortcuts are not shortcuts actually it is just that we have been doing this which we converted to a formula as simple as that let's see a question in action that, that will help us understand it better so i've written the problem here so if you notice here the values just quickly see a is 1 b is minus 1 c is 3 and d is equal to 5 so what will be the formula or the conversion directly if you want to write let's just start writing it clearly right minus 1 by 5 times x plus a by c is 1 by 3 minus b by d minus b by d is minus 1 by 5 ln of denominator that is modulus 3x plus 5 that's it straight away the question is over you just need to solve this particular bracket and you're done which is nothing but coming out to be 8 by 15 so i hope this particular question is now pretty much clear and now you are understanding the beauty of this particular formula or the short trick that we have just done plus c please add them because this is the property of indefinite so this is how you are going to use exponential by exponential formula let's pick another problem to understand this okay so the next question is this and as you have done in the cases earlier also first target is to express this in a particular form let's say like this which is the form ax plus b right otherwise you will miss out the trick so please be very careful when you are applying shortcuts anywhere that whatever form they are made for they will be applicable for that form only form is important now we can simply do it it is 2 by 1 x plus minus 3 by 5 minus 2 by 1 right ln what you will do just simply write this question is over this is how easy this is right you must be appreciating what we guys are doing right now it's fantastic approach now let's pick another problem here now the another problem is let's say this is the problem now did you see some change in this problem yes there's a very very big change which you should have seen that here the coefficient of e raised to power x in the power term of x is not x it is 2x whereas in our formula it was x and x so there has to be some difference it cannot just apply the same stuff why if you just want to understand why there will be change in formula you know that for this to solve we would require to use substitution right of 2x equal to t you will require to do that right this will bring in a change in the formula what change it will bring in the formula let's just see that okay so let us just formulate again a formula that uh, what happens when the exponential has e raised to power not only x but the power is mx what will happen the formula will just change slightly so just quickly revise it it was b by d x plus we used to write here uh, a by c minus b by d ln denominator right this is what we are used to do the only change that you will see in this particular phenomena here is that it will come 1 by m over here as well that this particular power of m that you are seeing here will be used here that's the only gene now let's see that previous question that we were trying to do and how we'll do that so if we take this question which we had just taken on the earlier slide so what we know now is very very simple minus 1 by 5x plus we used to do earlier as 1 by 3 minus of minus 1 by 5 times ln of the mod of denominator that is 3x minus 5 plus c only thing to be added here is 1 by 2 right let me okay redefine it write with some separate pen that this will be only accompanied by 1 by 2 that's it that's the only change got it this is how simple these kind of problems would become so let's talk about a special case here if we have to have talk about a special case which uses the same formula as we guys are doing so you must have seen an expression in your problem book that something of this sort is asked yes got it something of this sort so this is actually very much similar to what you guys are doing and if i have to tell you that there is again a formula for this so what cheating hoga that that will be something which i am cheating you on so the answer to this particular problem is very very simple it is b by dx plus 1 by 2 a by c minus b by d times ln what you will do 
c e raised to power 2x plus d plus c this is the answer so how i quickly derive to this how i directly have written this it is nothing but if you just multiply this here if you just multiply by e raised to power minus x on both the sides on both numerator and denominator what you are supposed to get or let's say e raised to power plus x my bad so it will become e raised to power a e raised to power 2x plus b divided by c e raised to power 2x plus d which is nothing but our earlier form where the value of m is nothing but 2 which is exactly what i have done here so can you see that this is actually what we guys have already done by just simple analytical application we have used our existing trick for a special case okay so guys i hope you have learned a lot in this video and you have appreciated and will start using these short tricks in indefinite integration god bless you all keep working hard